you doing great today is this design it's going to be a very cool way uh, I think if you practice, of course, it's going to be easy. I like the idea if we can use three balloons, only three balloons for our raccoon. So that's the design today. And um, I'm going to show you, you can always add more to a design. But this design, it's in order to make it, you know, to be easy, it's going to have some distance. So I'm going to show you how it, this is the idea. So what do you think about this idea of a cute raccoon? Look at the tail, look at the body. Now things can change, of course. What happened if you made white, you know? But I like this idea. You can give it to the kid and ta -da -da -da, And look at this, you cute. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think it's so cute? Now, I think it's a very cool original way and if you make this for line twisting, it can be really cool. For Sharpie, it's only, look, the eyes, just, you just make a circle. You can put the stickers, you know, for the eyes. Um, what else is cool about this? Look at the tail and the wristbands. The cool thing about the wristbands is if you live in a windy city, you know, it can help a lot, the kids, you know, to keep their balloons all the way to the end of the event. Uh, so now, this is how I represent a raccoon. And look at the nose, which I think is so cute. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out. So you know already how it looks. But I like, and sometimes I feel like, oh man, look at this nose. It's kind of like a heart, right? And I'm gonna show you how to make a heart shape. And this can work great for noses. Now, this technique, um, I teach it in a balloon convention. So uh, now I'm going to show it to you, but not exactly the way I teach because with this technique, you're going to make infinite designs. So this is one of those. So then from here, if you think, oh, Cecilia, let's make it with more elaborated. You can always, instead of the wristbands, you can always just make our legs. So I'm going to show you a very cool way to make legs, very easy and simple. And it can be more elaborated. And also it can be on a bracelet, if, you know, legs and then heal the bracelet. So let's do it so you can see. Um, you can play with different colors, but depending on the color also is gonna be um, more another animal because that's the cool thing about that technique. You can pick many different animals, cats, foxes. Um, think about, you know, it's infinite. So let's just start it. This is how I'm gonna show you that I think sometimes it's easier one by one. So let's go with one by one and you're gonna start Oops, inflated. This is a balloon Decomex 160, but it kind of looks like a 260. So you can go ahead and try it with a 260. You just need to inflate it like six finger tail and you're gonna make like four finger loop. Four finger loop. <laughs> four finger loop, locked, another four finger loop, and locked. So you have this. When you have that, you're gonna just maybe, you know, let's make them wait. And then you're gonna grab a black balloon and it's kind of the same idea. You're gonna touch it here in the center and you're gonna make four finger loop and another four finger loop. So this balloon black is also inflated six finger tail. Okay, so you just pass it around. Now you have two balloons. And remember, this is just six finger tail approximately. Okay, so when you have that, the idea I like when the black part, it's um, on top and then black, it's on the bottom. Uh, from here, you can start cutting the black balloon. So you can cut, save it, and you don't need much air here because you're gonna make a lot of pinch twists and twists. So you can always, you know, lose some air. So you're gonna have something like this. Save this and make sure this is locked, okay? So let's start this way. Tie it. Now, what else you can do? From here, you can grab the white and measure approximately no more than four finger long, twist, and make another no more than four finger long, okay? So that's gonna be a part of the mouth and the nose. So you have that. So now you have something like this, look at this. So the idea about this design, the cool part is that we're gonna make sure this is more together. How to make this closer, these loops. That's when, you know, a gray balloon to 60 is gonna come in there. 
so we have this piece now let's use the 260 balloon gray inflated like six finger tail and you're gonna attach it in the center bam, bam, ba -dum, bam. and make sure the gray goes up so you have this now from here the idea is you're gonna grab the end of your balloon and you're gonna pass it through the loops both of the loops in one side you see the white and the black and you're gonna pass it and pull so you're gonna pull all those loops so you just grab it and pull and pull and you're gonna leave less because it doesn't have to have too long that so no more than four finger loop here okay so when you are here you're gonna go put it upside down and soft and squishable you're gonna measure here like no more than two finger loop that is gonna be attached right into the center okay so there you go look then you're gonna attach it pass it around when you are here you're going to pass this to the other side the other loop okay i know that white balloon can be bothering you but don't cut it yet i think it's just in case leave it there now you have to pass it the gray all to the other loops if you already seen uh, this tutorial uh, i did if you went to the balloon convention i, I teach this idea at the bling bling jam but i just want to show what else you can make so the idea is you now go this is the bottom right part so you measure the same size approximately so you can always and it's better if it's soft and squishable then you're gonna go up and remember it's like here like no more than three finger loop that is gonna be attached right to the center so you're gonna have something like this i'm gonna show you in a moment how all this is gonna look and make sure you pass it around now you have to be careful but also um you know it's, it's just take your time if it's your first time so you have something like this look so now the idea is um to grab and this is the thing put it on the bottom take the black the the gray balloon in the front i mean to the back here where is where i am this where is this one and this balloon white also have to be like this the white so now you have something like this and you have to kind of like go down approximately the same size as where this goes so you have to grab it together squish and twist and then from there you have the head and you're gonna make two pinch twists with the gray so grab the gray make two three finger bubble pinch twist another three finger bubble pinch twist then you're going to you see now this is the front this is the back now the front so you can always accommodate things and from here you have two pinch twists and then you're going to measure like a four or five finger long twist and with the rest you just have to make two more pinch twist okay so let's do that one and if it's getting tight so that means you have to just loose the air you know but i'm gonna make three finger bubble pinch twist and this is getting tight so i'm just gonna make a hole and measure three finger bubble slowly i'm losing the air because i make a little hole there then you're gonna lose the air and just make sure you have three finger bubble to make with this a pinch to uh, another pinch twist so twist pass this around with the left over and close it so you have this okay now this white after you close here with the two pinch twist this one you can cut it okay and make sure you lose some air so then it's going to be easy to make that tail with just pinch twists and loops so leave some tail there and make sure this piece you tie it especially if you are not planning to make more of just the pinch twist as legs okay so you have something like this now things can then later be more accommodated but i think this is a cool design and the key thing is you you're gonna notice that it's this piece this you know side the head 
it's a really cool technique to make many different characters because you can play with three balloons or you can play with three different colors depending on the design. It can be even, you know, butterflies. It can be wings. It can be uh, a cat, a fox, a dog, a, a corgi dog. So it's a lot of cool things you can make with that. And even a raccoon, as you can see now. Now, what else here? Uh, you just can add more and I'm gonna show you how if you add another balloon. But uh, first with the leftovers, I'm gonna show you how I make the tail. Now, if you want to grab another balloon gray, you can make the tail better black and gray. Or you can play with gray and white. So it's up to you because gray, white, and black can play great for raccoons. It can be awesome. So, but I have these leftovers. So that's what I think of. Well, let's use these leftover balloons for the tail, that way I can say, well, I made this design with only three balloons. Well, let's see. You're gonna leave your design for a moment there and let's keep with these balloons. So you're gonna make one small finger bubble, one finger bubble, and then you're gonna make three loops, a small loop. One, two, and three loops, okay? Like when I say, like, no more than one and a half finger loop. Okay, so you have this. Okay, you have here a little bubble, this connection. And then from here, you're gonna make sure this design does, is gonna also make three finger loop smaller, like one finger loop each, okay? So one, there's always many different ways, but sometimes I'm thinking, you know, just to make it different. So this is another cool way to make a tail when you wanna play with two colors. So you have loops, one finger loop, one finger loop. That's kind of the idea. Now, remember here, you're gonna, well, this you can cut it and make sure here you, the rest, you just leave somewhere to make three bubbles in a moment. And here you just pass it around. You don't need to tie it because this one, the idea, it's you just make a small one finger bubble one finger bubble there um, you see it and then that one is going to be connected right here with the three loops that we made with the white so you have something there like this okay look now from here you're going to make a small one finger bubble and you're going to make two pinch twists or you can make three pinch twists, whatever you have more, you know, but I think it's gonna be only two big pinch twists. With the rest, you can just leave it like this. Okay, so it's just two pinch twists. With this, I just make one finger bubble, another one finger bubble, and you make these two first finger bubbles, you have to make it into a pinch twist. So you can make into a, a double pinch twist, just like this. So you have something like this. Look, so that's gonna be the, the point. Okay, and then with this, you just lose here. And you just leave, if you can, leave a small little bubble and the rest you just pass it around. So you can just tie it and pass it around. So you see, you have exact the amount for this idea to make the tail. And the thing is, I was thinking, well, it's gonna be three balloons. Look at the shape, you know, it can be different ways, but that's the cool part about, you know, trying this technique is you can play with, make it even torn a little bit. So it's, I think, really cool. With this tip that you left at the beginning, you're gonna attach it to that booty here. Now you pull and you pass this around. Remember, even if it's short, balloons are flexible, so you can be pulled and attach it. So look at this cool design. Now from here, we just need the nose. And the thing is for the nose, and then if you wanna make more legs, you will need a second balloon to 60 black, or it can be 160 black. If you want this more, you know, little for the raccoon's hands, I mean, legs. So I'm thinking, let's go with a 160 black. And you don't have to if you don't have a, bl a black. Uh, I have these blacks. 
that is Decomex, that is looks it is like black 260. So I'm gonna inflate it, leaving like 10 finger tail. So from here, look how we can make really fast and cool legs. You just attach it to the pinch twist, the great pinch twist. Okay, then from here you make sure no more than four finger long or three, right? Then you're gonna make four loops, one, two, three, and the loops probably two finger side. Each loop, two finger loop, each black loop. So you're gonna have something like this, okay? Then the idea is now you're gonna go to the other side. So it's here is four finger long, you're gonna, oh, three, you're gonna make another three finger long go all the way to the to the booty so that's what i'm taking and then you're gonna go back to the set to the feet to the feet and then go up and then to this part so let's do it down with the same size for the legs and this is the cool part about adding one more balloon is you're gonna have enough to make the nose so this is the cool part about the nose you're just gonna leave a little piece save it that's gonna be the nose the rest make sure you tie it and pass it around so it's all locked and secure now i like the idea of having two pinch twists a uh, gray because it's gonna help you to your design for example to be one side ahead or it can be all the way in the front so depend how the kids want it that's totally great you know so now you have all these loops that you can better keep it this way look like this <laughs> okay so then from here you just um what else you can do oh the nose so you just grab make two finger bubble okay and then you're gonna make it into a pinch twist so make sure when you have this, look, this is how I do it. I grab two finger bubble and then I tie it and pull. So you have this shape and you're gonna have it, tie it. And then you're gonna cut, leaving some tail because this is what you need to do. You need to attach it right here. And then the rest is gonna help to put, pass it around a couple of times there. And then you just have to pull and make sure you are have things all locked in the center. So you have to make sure in the center things get locked and then you can hide this in the back. Now accommodate things again. Okay. Now look at the nose. I'm gonna show you the nose is there and it can just be there, you can accommodate the bag. Look, if you pull and kind of like roll, look, roll, and that's what I'm doing, the pinch twist, I'm kind of like pushing and rolling and rolling. It's gonna kind of start making a shape. And so that's what I'm doing. It's hard to show you in person, but it's gonna be looking down. So if you just then twist it up, it's gonna stay that way. So let's try one more time. Cause it's all about, you know, practice, but it's not hard. It's just all practice. So it's with my thumb, I'm pushing and rolling with these two fingers in the back. I'm pushing and trying to roll it. But when I have the shape I like, and then I just, look. I kind of like the idea. You can make a shape more like looking like a heart. See, it's all about practicing and take your time but i think it's really cool don't you think okay let me just make sure okay so maybe this side is gonna be better i'm just playing to look the best side for my there we go i'm gonna leave it there like that 
But again, this is just an idea how to make shapes, you know, with a pinch twist. That I, is something I kind of like call my attention and I think I gotta make it. It can be your signature <laughs> after you make a design, you know, with a nose as a pinch twist. Even this can be like a heart shapes for eyeballs. I don't know. Just ideas. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, you can play more with that technique, with that idea. Um, what I'm thinking right now, I have to show you how I make the eyes. So for the eyes, the thing is you have to make sure, uh, I think it's gonna look better if you put the eyes in the white spot. So black is perfect. So just grab your black, black Sharpie. And the thing is for this type of design, you don't need a mouth. You can, but you don't need to add it, okay? So I'm gonna make the eyes and try to make it as close as you can to the nose because it's not easy. So this is, I'm gonna show you how I make it. I'm, I'm trying to make big eyes. And look, this is one eye. And you have to try to put the other one right here. So let's see. And that's harder, right? It should start with the left, but meh. And so that's not easy, but I'm trying. Do -do 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 it's like people also i guess animals can have one eye bigger than the other one <laughs> so this is the idea now you can always make it better yes this was my first try the second so it's all about you know playing with your balloons if you want to make it this not so big you can make it smaller but it's something i like i made this way you know foxes and i try it for events people like it so i was thinking hmm, let's try it with a raccoon now with this idea instead of you see without legs you can also attach a you don't have to but you can attach a wristband and it can also help you to stay there so this is a very cute way to make a raccoon don't you think um tell me in the comments what do you think if you try it Again, this is a cool part. You can try with 260s or with 160s or with any uh, size balloons you have. The only probably tricky part can be this part, but as soon as you, you know, master the head, then I'm sure you're going to enjoy it because you can make many different things with that technique. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching the videos. I know this video is more serious than others <laughs> but uh i just wanted to share with you uh, before i forget and i think you, look i already tested i i asked you know um uh, my family what it, what do you think it is and they totally say it's raccoon so that was awesome okay okay have a wonderful day thanks thank you and don't forget like subscribe comment share you know <laughs> bye bye